Hello, Allison here, and in today's FileMaker tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a background to your layout. Using an image as a background for your FileMaker layout is an awesome way to add vibrancy and instantly make your database more appealing and usable. Following the how-to tutorial, I'll show you the same layout with 17 different backgrounds so you can see for yourself what a difference having a background on your layout can make. I know it's easy to say I don't care about how the layout looks, but as one client famously said to me, I look at this database for eight hours a day. I see it more than I see my wife. Point taken. Looks matter. So let's get started learning how to add a background image to a layout in FileMaker. In today's example, we have a basic contact data entry layout. I've intentionally chosen a simple layout to work with so that you can focus your attention on the impact of using a background image. So let's get started. I'm going to go into Edit Layout, and I'll just move the inspector to the side here, and I'm going to click on the body, and in the graphics section, um, under the formatting section of the inspector, uh, you have the ruler, uh, some styles, and the appearance section uh, with the graphic. We see that it's a solid color. And we're going to change it from a solid color to an image. And I'm going to go ahead and select an image and choose insert. And there it is. It magically appears and we now have a background as part of our layout. Now you may notice that the shape section that sits behind the field label names is uh, transparent so that I can see some of the image through the uh, shape itself. I achieve that by on the solid color for the shape I chose a gray and then in selecting other color and I'll just pull that over for you in selecting other color I chose an opacity of 60% which is right here. And I did that same thing for the field background. It's a gray color and I chose 72% uh, to make it a little darker so that the data uh, pops out properly no matter what the background is. So let's exit layout and see it in browse mode. And there we have it. We have our background image and we can see it. Uh, you can see this uh, pen here. Uh, even through the fields. So I promised you that I would show you 17 uh, layouts uh, with uh, different backgrounds, so let's go through those now. So this is the first one, the one that we uh, started with, with this notebook-like uh, and uh, pen. It's very studious looking or uh, designer. It's got some numbers there at the top. And then moving on to the second one, uh, it's got more of a pop of color. It's got some nice texture on the background, but nothing too busy. And in the third one, we have uh, this brick pattern going on. Could be uh, nice if you are a construction company or architecture, or it just adds sort of a, a calming, uh, structured, uh, easy on the eye uh, type of background. The fourth one, I particularly like this one. It's got this shiny tile, uh, so it's got a little bit of pizzazz going on, but it's not too overwhelming. The focus can still remain on the data itself. Number five is a little bit more colorful, uh, but not too crazy in terms of color. Uh, the focus still remains on uh, the data. Number six is definitely jazzy, so uh, if there's a little bit more energy needed, um, or there's some vibrancy about the uh, office environment and this just uh, fits in, you can have a little uh, fun here. Number seven is a little more casual. Uh, it's got some nice pops of color, but nothing too crazy. Number eight is kind of chill, not too, too crazy, just relaxing. Number nine is a uh, cafe feel, got a sense of uh, hanging out, a cup of coffee there. Number 10, we've got some nice colors going on here. There's a pretty blue at the top that's uh, kind of a calm blue and then it uh, fades into a bit of a pop of color uh, towards the bottom with uh, some orange and red. 
Number 11 is blue, uh, but it's got some nice texture to it uh, so that it's not just plain boring blue. Number 12, we've got some white brick going on in the back, so a very subtle uh, suggestion of uh, texture. 13, we have some pretty color going on uh, and some wood. Uh, the idea of a door uh, makes me think of the outside world, which I particularly like when we're indoors and we are looking uh, you know, at technology all the time. It's sometimes nice to be reminded uh, of the outside. Whoa, number 14, we've got a nice bright pop of color here and uh, cheerful would be great uh, for uh, grabbing attention and, and keeping focus and keeping energy up. Number 15, this one uh, really nicely aligned uh, with the header here. Um, this uh, gray section, it looks like it might be a building with some sort of, uh, I don't know, air filtration something going on here and you've got this pretty color in the back. Um, that's got some vibrancy to it, but nothing too overwhelming and some nice texture to it. Number 16, nice clean, clear background, but some little pops of color in the pencils uh, at the bottom there. And then finally, number 17, sort of got this industrial uh, texture going on and sort of larger uh, elements to it. Uh, and this great pop of chili red uh, to keep the energy going. And that is our final one. So that is uh, all 17 of them. What is your favorite? Uh, go ahead and put the number in the comments and tell us why you liked it and how you might use it. I hope you enjoyed this video today and found it useful. If you did, if you could give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more videos like this, please go ahead and click the subscribe button. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.